Training's finished for today. I was in the heat and altitude chamber at the Manchester um, Institute of Health and Performance, not too far from the velodrome. Uh, and today, now that training's done, I'm going to go and surprise a group of year fours. at a relatively local school. It's on my way home. The teacher uh, emailed me just before Christmas and said that they'd chosen as a class, well, there's two classes, um, they'd chosen an athlete to study this half term. And I was the athlete that they chose to study. So very exciting. I'm going to take my bike, which is in the boot. And I've got a couple of medals. So yeah, let's go and surprise them. I just arrived. I just get quite nervous and excited when you're going to meet some uh, young people. Uh, what a lovely display outside. Okay, I've got my medals, I've got my bike here. Uh, trying to push everything and carry it in. But yeah, let's go inside and surprise them. Really looking forward to uh, hearing what their questions are. So I'm just about to go into the hall now. See if they can work out who's coming today. <laughs> Me. Wow, we well. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to be here. It's wonderful to see you all. That was a brilliant reception. A bit more of a reaction than that, I've got to say. So, we've stunned year four. Did, did I really feel you when you thought it was Mr. Collinson? No. no. Oh. Mr. Collinson. I called Mr. Collinson. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Well, oh, oh, we're warming up now. <laughs> People, it's amazing. So, if I could bring one thing that you'd like to see that you've never seen before, what would it be? A golden athlete medal. Well, what about if I said I brought two? <gasps> It's in a sock. It is in a sock. <laughs> it's in a sock it's for really a very good reason. Sock, it's a, it's a <laughs> <laughs> so this gold medal here is from the games in London. Oh what? And then this one, I get it out of the sock. <laughs> Do you like the fact it's in a sock? Yeah. It protects it. Yeah. This one is from the Rio games and it and it and it shakes. Is it real gold? Two real gold medals. So these oh are my God. these are two oh of the fourteen oh Paralympic gold medals. <gasps> yeah. Now, does anyone have an idea what might be inside? Have yeah. So what do you reckon? Yeah. What might be? What might the noise be? Have so what do you think? What's inside? Beans. Nobody knows. So we've decided they're coffee beans. Right. And that's because it's from Brazil. <laughs> Brazilian coffee beans, we don't know. They decided in Rio to make different noises inside the medal so visually impaired and blind athletes would know the sound of the medal and therefore that would relate to the colour of the medal. So that's what the gold medal sounds like. And so they kept it secret for that reason. They kept it secret. Yeah. They didn't tell us what was inside. We're just guessing, but we like the idea of coffee beans. And then this one was the gold medal from London in 2012. So these are what they look like. And they're very heavy. They're 500 grams each. Oh, that's not a lot. So if you want to write this down, if you're going to do maths afterwards, if you've got four gold medals and they weigh 500 grams each and you wear all four of them for a press event or for uh, a photo shoot, then you work out how many kilos you've got around your neck. Well done, two kilos. Well, look at all the um, so the good luck messages. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Because of the Canada thing. Yeah, because of the Canada thing. The Canada thing, I like that. Thank you. I shall take them all to the World Championships. Thank you so much. And the Tokyo thing. And the Tokyo thing, I'll take them there as well. Throw it at you. Go on then. What's that for? So that's a saddlebag. So when you go out training, you need to take some spares in case you have a puncture. So the spares go in the saddlebag. At you. Anyone else got? You can jump in. Go on. What was your hardest race or competition and why? Probably one of my hardest races was on the road. 
um, because usually they're quite long. They can be three or four hours in length. Um, on one day, I remember, it was a race called the Tour of California, and I uh, managed to get away from the group, and I was up, on the, up the road on my own. I had a five-minute lead, and I was trying to stay ahead of the group, but there was about 70 or 80 women in the group behind, all chasing me down, trying to make sure that I didn't win the race. And they eventually caught me with three kilometers to go, and the last three kilometers were straight uphill. So that was really hard to do after being away on my own all day. Um, why do you have two water bottles? So two water bottles, I've just done a heat chamber session and it's really warm in there, it's 32 degrees, so you need to make sure that you have um, plenty of hydration. But when I'm going out training, I'll always take two water bottles so that I don't um, get dehydrated. Even in the winter time, you get sweaty because you've got the warm clothes on. Um, it's important to make sure you've got enough fluid on board. Go on then. Uh, have you ever lost one of your medals? I thought I'd lost one once because I couldn't find it. I thought I'd put it somewhere and I hadn't. Um, it had been put away by my dad and I thought I'd lost it. So yeah, I was absolutely devastated. My heart sank, I thought it, I didn't know where I thought it had gone. But yeah, I did think that, but fortunately, touch medals, I've not lost one. <laughs> you think it's heavy, hey? It looks So there we go, visits done. I was with the children just over an hour, it just goes so fast. Um, there's such heartwarming visits when you come to primary schools, great questions, um, really lovely group and they were so excited when I walked into the hall, it was brilliant to hear the noise. Uh, any excuse when you're at primary school to do some cheering I guess, but um, really honoured to have been chosen by them as the person that they want to study this half term. i um, got some gorgeous uh, good luck cards here for um, the World Championships in Canada in a couple of weeks and obviously for Tokyo, uh, selection pending obviously on that one. Uh, but yeah, I love, love, love those sorts of visits, gorgeous flowers. Hours. thank you so much and um, so big thank you to all the children who feature in the video and to the school for making me so welcome um, and that's all from me today so bye for now <laughs>